Have you ever worked on a project for days, weeks or perhaps even months just to come out at the end with a great version that you're super excited about? I'm super excited. And then you release the project and nothing happened. No users, nobody's interested in using it. All your work, all your time, basically for nothing. Today we want to talk exactly about that problem. We will try not to be so much sad, but instead try to see in how far we could improve our side project or in general project so that they don't become a failure. So let's do this. Okay, the dwarf needs to set a bit higher. If you know a good brand for a chair, let me know one because I could need a new one. Let's also risk a bit more light. And there we are, welcome back to another vlog episode. This week we want to talk about side projects. Because last week I was making a little planning for my next uh, task and I tried to figure out what my next project to work on would be. Earlier this year I mentioned I want to release like every three months one project. This year I want to release one side project every two months. That's not going to happen anymore. I already changed that plan, I think I... But the problem is I really felt overwhelmed last week because basically 95% or more of my um, projects that I tried were a complete failure in general. So today I want to uh, talk with you, I want to show you that even if you might think oh Simon has like 20,000 followers in the academy and everything's great. No, basically I have failed a lot of projects um, and I've made mistakes again and again and I will try to find out with a few example projects what went wrong in those projects and maybe you and I can skip those failures in the next project so my next side be uh, so my next side project becomes a bit more successful i don't really want to make millions on a side project so i got this little let me show you this is a bit private i got this thing called the winner's bible it's basically inspired on a great book that you should definitely read as well i don't want to show you all of the things inside but for one page i came up with a very simple breakdown of things that i want to do so this is not 100 percent accurate i already plan to change it this is like an optimal future statement i would like to be in that case i had the founder of multiple small companies in general i think what i want to be is um, um, the owner of multiple small assets that produce a passive income stream so we can live more freely every day got enough money and everything's happy of course that's not always going to work out uh, we have to adapt therefore my doctrine is a bit changed now but I still want to try to bring out new projects help people and then in the end see if I can somehow build monetization into the project but first I need to find a good idea and people that are interested in it. Let's take a look at three examples that I have prepared for you. Just, just can't find it. What is what is wrong with the Twitter search? Okay, I guess we have to live without the tweet. What I want to tell you about project number one is the Ionic Snippets Library. This is a project that I created uh, in summer last year, I think. After a great response, I think I already talked about this in the vlog, people were highly excited about the idea of having a snippet library just like you're used to perhaps from other languages already. Now while the idea works for like PHP, Bootstrap and other things, I'm not exactly 100% sure why it is not working in this case. I really enjoyed the idea and I also thought about um, continuing it, but I stopped the project for now because, um, well, basically because every single snippet that was submitted in this app was submitted by this guy here and nobody else was using this platform so the project failed because of no users that's the reason and why is nobody using it possible reason number one it's not really that polished so um i'm no designer and this was just a small mvp that i tried to bring out reason number two People are not really interested in uh, going to this page and submitting their stack blitz. Perhaps they haven't even created a stack blitz example. Um, or in another case, you would have to create the code and upload all the files and connect it. Maybe you're just not that excited about the code snippet that you just wrote, um, that you uploaded. There's really no reason for somebody to submit a new snippet unless there was like a gamification aspect to it or gathering points or 
I don't know, getting some community fame for the things you upload. This whole project would have needed a lot more attention from different people groups, a lot more participation from different developers, then it might have become something that other people would like to use. As you know, um, there are snippets library available for other languages and frameworks that work great. Perhaps this is something in the future, but for now it failed. <laughs> Simply because I think I didn't put enough effort into the idea, it was just a small MVP and I didn't push further in terms of design, accumulating new users, building up the first snippet library with my own examples. I definitely failed and this time I haven't put in enough work. The second project is actually one of the biggest projects I've worked on. It is called Geronio, um, I don't know, you can see it right there. Uh, it's like make personal training great again was one of our catchy headlines and it's a huge application that I basically I alone developed with a friend of mine uh, who was more on the business side of things with a personal training company I would say but a very small company. The app is really sophisticated it got a lot of functionalities um, we got a little calendar for the trainers, they can add their exercises, users get their own account and can see their exercise, interact with the trainers. Really, really a lot of things going on. This took months to develop and we planned it to have it available for them and then also for um, other companies that want to join or simply individual personal trainers that want to use this simple mechanism. The problem with this project was not the UI, we actually had a designer develop assets so the app really looked good but the one and the single biggest problem in this case was simply the focus on one customer. We had this one customer who we worked with and the problem is that you think the problems they have are the problems that everyone has, while in fact most things are just very specific for them. They tell you about a problem, you maybe don't know completely about that market, so you think okay that's a really big problem, you develop a feature and in the end you see that it's only important to them and not to like the 99% uh, of the other users. As a result the app is focused too much on one specific customer image and not the whole customer group. So how could we avoid this? Simply before developing something, don't focus only on like one customer and try to reach others in that group, that niche, that field, whatever it is to see if it is actually their problem as well. And if you're just building a solution for one customer, then just charge the price for them and don't try to uh, build something like a SaaS product or a membership or whatever uh, because you will have a hard time to find other users. The last project that has failed is actually also the last project I worked on which was the Ionic job board. So this project hasn't failed completely. Actually as you might be able to see there are already two new postings in the job board. But the problem is simply nobody's using it. This is a very classic problem of marketplaces, okay? Ionic developers are not using it because there are not a lot of jobs in it and other companies are not promoting their job because not a lot of developers are looking at it. So you see the problem of this? You can now think about where you want to start. Either get more developers into this so you can promote it to companies or start with the companies and get more jobs into it and then the developers will find it. So a very classic marketplace problem but the thing is this problem also requires a lot of time. I tried to work on this. Uh, actually, what is about this light? I actually tried to uh, improve the... I don't know if you can hear this. Baby's crying. She's also said that the job board is not working out. So this project, um, as a little improvement, has a lot better UI than the other projects, was not focused on just like one customer, but it was maybe a bit too thinking too short. Uh, so I was thinking there are other job boards that work pretty great, um, they charge high rates and they work great. Why not do the same thing for Ionic? Guess what, it's not that easy. Now what can we make out of the information of this video? So one, fail often, fail a lot. It also happens to many others. Even if you see someone overnight success, be pretty sure that he tried like thousand other ways and just this one solution became successful. For me, the only thing that has worked really good so far is the Ionic Academy. 
basically everything else didn't work out as expected so far. Number two, if you plan on investing a lot of time into a side project, do your research, okay? Try to uh, speak to the group where you wanna uh, solve a problem for, not only talk to one person, and also try to make the MVP still a bit appealing, because today you can't just throw up a few input fields and think users will uh, like to join into your application. Number three, a problem I also uh, tend to make over and over again is building something where there's no real problem. Apple can do this. Apple is great at inventing things that you don't know that you yet need. Great, beautiful, awesome, beautiful, stunning, great, cool, great. Like an Apple Watch that I hated in the first presentation, but suddenly, I don't know, I have an Apple Watch. But we are, I think for the most, I can talk for the most of us, not Apple, and therefore we cannot simply invent something and tell everyone, hey, did you know that you was need, that did you know that you were your whole life looking for this? Hmm? That's not going to work. Build something that really solves a problem for people. Then you also have a better chance of building something that might make you some income down the road. And the last tip, as I said, is watch out for these common uh, mistakes like the market problem or the hang in the egg problem. Think about if you are uh, developing like a community marketplace are there any other problems? Do you need a specific amount of users that uh, need to do this or that in order for your app to become more successful? Or can everyone immediately start to use them? Because for the other case, you might have to work a lot more on building a network and community upfront before you actually launch your application into the wild. All right, that's it already again for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the topic. I could talk uh, a lot more about the failed projects. I got a huge list of more failed projects, but we don't want to end the video set, right? Try to embrace the tips. Let me know if you got other tips. I would love to see uh, your failed projects or let me know why they failed, if you got some additions to the list. And then change things this week. Try to work on your side projects, maybe focus a bit on the problems that might come up in the future and don't just do the coding so you got better chances of becoming successful. If you do, please, as always, leave me a nice comment below the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're not yet subscribed, uh, you can also learn a lot more about Ionic in my channel if you didn't know about that. Build something cool, maybe an app or website, and I will catch you next week, so happy coding, Simon. <laughs>